Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to put in an invisible zipper. An invisible zipper on the outside of your garment, you will not see any stitching, unlike the centered zipper that I just showed you how to put in. So what you need to do, the supplies you need for your invisible zippers is basically the same. You'll need your foot and you'll need an invisible zipper. Now, invisible zipper is a lot different than a centered zipper. You can see that the teeth are not present on the top part of your zipper. Your zipper pull tab is different, it's decorative. The zipper teeth are on the back of the zipper. What's going to be super important is that you can turn your zipper over and take your teeth and roll them to where you see the well inside of the zipper. That is where we're going to stitch. Now, I will say this, that on your home sewing machine, you might have a invisible zipper foot that you can use to put in your zipper. We don't have that. So we are going to use a regular zipper foot. So if you have a regular zipper foot on your, on your sewing machine at home, you can do this technique if you do not have an invisible zipper foot, all right? It's a little more trickier, but it is a much prettier zipper. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to find out where your stopper is. And once again, I've said that before, is usually your pattern piece is gonna have a dot. So from your dot, you're going to start here. And on, a, on the centered zipper, how we basted this together, we are not going to baste. We're gonna keep this open, but we are going to backstitch at the dot and continue stitching all the way down. Then you're going to take your fabric and I need you to press it open all the way up to the top like this. Once again, make sure your edges are seam finished because you will not be able to get into them once your zipper is put on. Okay, here's the trickier part. Make sure your zipper foot is on and ready to go. So, take your invisible zipper, open it up, and lay it down like this on your fabric. I'm going to take this side first, and I'm going to pick up my zipper and my seam allowance that I have, and I'm going to open it up like this. So I'm gonna work on this side first. My guide will be the crease that we made when we pressed it open. My zipper foot is face down. I'm going to put this line, my stopper, my stopper up with the dot, and I'm gonna pin that down with my teeth right on that crease. And I'm gonna put a pin with my pins going up. Then I'm just going to line up the zipper teeth right along this crease all the way to the top and I'm going to pin. The difference in this zipper is we're going to sew one side and then we're going to stop and then continue to sew the other side. With the invisible zipper foot, we are going to do two stitchings on each side. The first stitching that we are going to do, we are going to baste our zipper in place. And then we're going to baste the other side in place. And then we're going to zip it up. We're going to check to make sure that it is even. And then once it's even, um, or if you need to tweak it, that's what we will do before we stitch it into place. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stitch it down 
right down the center. And I'm going to put my needle um, between a three and a four. You just want to stitch it down. And this is to hold your zipper in place. That's the only purpose really of this one, just to hold it in place. Be very careful when you come down, okay? I didn't backstitch because there's no need. I'm just holding it in place. And now we're going to repeat the process for the other side. Once again, we're working with single thickness fabric. We're not pulling this over like this. It is completely open. Once again, I'm gonna line it up. And then I'm gonna need to Start with my pins going straight up. And we are just going to check to make sure that this is going to be straight. At this point, if you wanted to, you could fold it over and you can check it. Just going to make sure that my pull tab is up at the top, sticking through. There we go. So I can pull that tab straight up. Okay. So I am looking for this. If you see stitching on this side, it is wrong. So you need to go back and review the video. Once I know that this is laying flat like this, I'm still going to go back and um, ba uh, baste up that other side. If you are seeing that one side is more um, up higher than the other, you need to do some finagling or tweaking at this point. So right now we're troubleshooting. We're just making sure that our stitching um, and I'm gonna go this way because I don't wanna change my foot. I'm just going to stitch the tape down because I know that it's going to work. All right. There's a lot more steps to the invisible zipper, but like I said, it is a much prettier zipper. Once again, uh, zip it up and make sure that everything is looking good. Now I can pull this apart and I can see my invisible zipper. I can still see my crease. That is where we're going to sew next is right into that crease. Okay. But that is what it should look like the first go around. Second go around. Once you have it basted, open it up again. Pick your side. Once again, I'm going to this side. This is where it's gonna get really tricky. You can see where the teeth are right here. Right now, my second pass is to get as close into the teeth as I can. And how I do that, if you wanna come closer, is I roll, I roll the teeth down and I have a well right here. This is where I'm going to be stitching, is right in there. It is a little more difficult, but it can be done. So to start, you're going to need to, on my right hand, I am pushing down my teeth right there. And I'm going to start. And you can see that I am stitching in the well. There's the well right here, and that is where my teeth are going. This is gonna take some time, so go slow. If you, have a, so if you have a speed on your sewing machine, that would be the time to put it down. If you jump over and you catch the 
and you catch um, the teeth, you're going to have to go back and rip that out. Now, when you come down to here, it's going to be really tricky. What I need you to do is stop with your needle down, raise your presser foot, and if you can, pull your zipper. I might be too close. I am too close. I'm not going to be able to pull my zipper. Just go as far as you can. We might need to um, go in here later and hand stitch that down. Okay, once that side's done, go ahead and give it a haircut. And it should look something like this. If I put this like this, you wouldn't be able to see my second stitching other than down here. You cannot see that second stitching because it's hidden in the groove right here, okay? So now we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do this side. Remember, single thickness of your fabric. We want the foot um, down and we want the foot to the left of our tape and we want our needle to the right of our teeth, okay. As of right now, I'm going to get over, get in that well. Do it the best that you can. I understand it's really um, nerving to get really this close with your needle. I understand that. This is something that you are going to have to put in multiple times to really get that down. If you have a machine at home and it has an invisible zipper foot, you won't need to do this. It's just a foot that you're, you stick the teeth in the grooves and off you go. Okay, so let's give it a try. If I turn it over, it looks like this. You see no stitching on the outside, none. That is how I know I've done it right. I'm gonna take my pull tab and I'm gonna go straight up like this. You can see that all that is visible is the pull tab. A little extra thread hanging right here. That is all that you see is just the pull tab. You don't see any outside stitching. Give it a try. Opens up and it looks like this. The difference between the two zippers look like this. You can see this is your invisible zipper. This is a centered zipper. Centered zipper has the stitching on the outside. It's a great all-purpose application, great all-purpose zipper. The invisible zipper has no stitching on the outside. It uses a different zipper. You cannot take a centered zipper and put it in like an invisible zipper or vice versa. They each have their own application.